I'm going to show you how I restored this Mercedes C300 paint from this to this. So if you like seeing a good paint transformation, this video is for you. First of all, I want to start by stating that I don't recommend people doing this themselves as a DIY project. There is a lot of risk involved when you get into cutting clear coat and doing two-step corrections, and you could potentially cause hundreds to thousands of dollars worth of damages to your paint if it's not done correctly. But if you are hiring a professional, which will absolutely provide you with the best results because they have products, tools, and experience that you simply won't have, this will give you a great idea of what kind of results you can get from a two-stage correction. The specific service we are going to be doing in simple terms is right in the middle of how far you typically go with paint correction work. It is more than a simple polish and yet not quite a complete multi-stage correction. It's much more affordable than a full correction and provides a really great value for your money on heavily swirled vehicles like this. After giving this vehicle a full decontamination wash, which I have other videos on, of course, including a good clay bar and iron removal to strip the brake dust off, this is when you can inspect the true condition of the paint inside under a light. The polishing machine I'll be using today is the Rupez LHR 15 Mark III, and then as well on some tighter spots, I use my Flex PXE 80, but more importantly, the pad and product combination I'll be using is as followed. For the cutting stage, which for those unfamiliar is the first step, which is going to help remove a thin layer of damaged clear coat, is the Rupez Blue Wool Pad with Mofra's Heavy Cut Compound. Now you can't just leave the paint like that. It may look better than original, but it is not refined enough to give that crystal clear look. So for the polishing and refining stage, I used a Lake Country HDO orange polishing pad with Rupez Uno Protect. This is one of my absolute favorite polishes on the market for a few reasons. It leaves a very nice finish on the paint while having the ability to remove some very light swirls, but it also has additives like polymers and natural waxes that provide a light layer of protection on the paint for a few months to follow. Now when I say protection, I'm not talking about a very hard, durable layer like a ceramic coating or even better paint protection film, but simply UV protection to prevent fading from the sun and it provides a nice hydrophobic or water beating surface to help keep the vehicle clean for longer and make it easier to wash contaminants off. And a couple things I didn't show on the video, I also added on Rain Speed Windshield Sealant, which is from the Maniac Detailing line. This is just a spray that goes on the glass and it provides, again, a really nice hydrophobic or water beating surface to make it a lot safer to drive in the rain. And as well, on top of that, I use Gion SiO2 tire protectant on the wheels to really make them pop. If you're wondering how long a job like this takes, a professional can do this in roughly five or six hours working at a moderate pace, just depending on the vehicle and condition, where someone with less experience may take upwards of an entire day. But still, either way, in my opinion, it is a fantastic timeline for completely turning the paint around on a vehicle. After spending the time correcting and polishing the paint panel by panel and doing those final touches, here are the results we're left with. Go ahead and give me a follow if you want to see some more videos like this, as well as a lot of DIY content to help you work on your vehicle yourself, from washing it to maintaining your own ceramic coating and even ceramic coating your own vehicle.